So now I'm going to take a quick break. We'll touch the East in a second. And we're going to pick these series, and we're going to tell you the top ten players up in the playoffs. But first, we're going to pick these series. Uh, first series, we'll start in the East. The Heat and the Heat are already up 1-0. Um, on the Knicks, they play tomorrow again. But who do you have in that series, Heat versus Knicks, going to the conference finals? I really hate it, bro, but the Heat will win. All right, I, I, I agree with you. I got the Heat in six. Um, next series, Boston, Philly. Embiid is out tonight, and if he does come back, he will not be 100%. Who do you have in that series? I'm excitedly picking the Celtics. I'm so happy. <laughs> I am picking the Celtics in six games as well. Um, to the West, Nuggets, Suns. Did not have a great start for the Suns last um, last two nights ago, but who do you got? Nuggets, Suns. I'm gonna say Nuggets in six. Okay, I'm going to say Nuggets in six as well. Um, we'll talk about six. Um, and then lastly, <laughs> series of all series, King versus uh, what did I say? King versus the Chef. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the the God versus the the God versus the Goat, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I called him God because he's a Christian. <laughs> Warriors, crazy, Lakers. Like I'm gonna go Warriors in six as well. I am going to go Warriors. I'm going to call me crazy, but I'm going Warriors in five. Um, I think this is a pretty quick series. I think these games are all good, but I think the Warriors are just a better team, um, and they have shown that. I think they will show that this series. I think they'll show why they're the better team. Um, if this series goes past five games, I'm not going to be surprised, but I do think the Warriors are winning this series. Okay. The one way I do think the Lakers will win this series is if Anthony Davis is the best player in this series, but it's been two years, and Steph Curry has been the best player in the past it's a five playoff series, so don't know how, how he's going to do it, but we'll see. Um, so, top ten players left in the NBA playoffs. This is always fun to do because this is really when the guys, right. <laughs> the really guys of all guys are right. here. So, um, we're going to start ten. I'm going to give my ten first, and then Ish is going to give his ten, and we will go from there. We'll discuss why we have people where. Um, we probably had the same number one. I think you guys can guess by how the show is going. But uh, ten through two. How the show's going. Oh, <laughs> 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 <I'm>, oh God. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, at number ten, I'm going to go down ten, and then he'll go down ten. Um. And number 10, I have, and I had, I had a list earlier from the, um, what's that thing called? Um, the first round, from the first round. So I had a list. So the quarter semifinals. Yes. This is my quarter semifinals, <laughs> quarter semifinals, top 10 players left in the NBA. And I want to preface this with this, with this, that this is not. Who I would draft first. This is who I would, who I am taking in the playoff situation. Not what I care about in February, what happened in February. I don't care nothing about this. It's strictly playoffs. Top 10 players left in the playoffs do playing playoff basketball. And number 10, I have <laughs> Draymond Green. Um, Draymond Green has from, I'm not going to, my bad. Draymond Green at number 10. At number 9, I have Jalen Brown. At number eight, I have Embiid. At number seven, I have Jokic. Six, I have Book, Devin Booker. Five, I have Jason Tatum. Four, I have Jimmy Butler. Three, I have Kevin Durant. At two, I still got LeBron. And at one, of course, Steph Curry. Okay. I got a couple... <laughs> And I will explain why I have people where I have them. Um, okay. When it's done with the list. All right. So ten. We're gonna. I'm gonna name not only yours. I'm gonna go Jamal Murray. Okay. I like. No, okay. We're not breaking up. Jamal Murray. <laughs> nine. I'm gonna go JB. Okay. Eight. I'm gonna go AD. Okay. Seven. I'm gonna go LeBron. Six. I'm gonna go book. Five, I'm gonna go Embiid. Four, I'm gonna go Jokic. Tatum, I'm missing somebody. Who am I missing? Jimmy. Jimmy at two. Yes. And this is, and of course, Steph at one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, 
I didn't have AD on my list, and I didn't have Jamal Murray on my list. I didn't have AD on my list because he has not been healthy. Um, yeah. And you don't deserve to be on this list due to the healthy. Of course you would be on this list if I had seen you in a healthy playoff run in the past two years. I have not. Right. Um, so at 10, I put Draymond. I put Draymond there because I've seen Draymond come up importantly too many times to not. Um, it was between him and Clay. Um, I chose Draymond due to his the, the, the clutchness of his defensive efforts right. and whether you need a stop one on one you need a three on one fast break stop you need a two on one fast break stop or you just need help defense every clutch moment Draymond shows up for the Warriors time and time again oh, yeah. defensively last night on Sabonis he did a great job eight rebounds eight assists um and Offensively, he does so much for the Warriors. He dictates so many. He throws so many great passes. And when they go small with him at the five, they are incredible. Jalen Brown, I think that's self-explanatory. Embiid is so low because, one, he hasn't been past the second round. And I don't think he's going to do it again this year. Two, Two, and it's hard for Embiid to really be effective in this playoff. Partially it's due to team design, but we're not going to make that excuse today. It's a lot to do with he can't be on the court for long periods of time because of how much people will put him in the pick and roll. Yeah. Of course, who did they play in the first round? Um, um, who did they just lose to? Somebody trash. Right? Yeah, it wasn't nobody good. Um, they the, were so bad. Damn, I cannot believe I didn't think. Was it Toronto? Yeah, it was Toronto. They swept them. They, whoever they beat, they swept. Yeah. No, Toronto missed the playoffs. Oh, Damn, I can't believe I forgot. I, 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 just like, I forgot. I'm so sorry, y'all. This is so unprofessional. It's bad. It was the Nets. The Nets. That's why. <laughs> it was the Nets. So they swept the Nets. But when you see if if he is able to go in games two through however many, you will see them put him in a lot of pick and roll. And again, say a lot. The word of the day is pace. They will run up and down the court and get him off the court. That makes him a liability. Liabilities can't be too high on this list, which brings me to my next defensive liability, Jokic. Mm-hmm. Amazing on offense, but liability on defense. I don't think we'll see that too much this round because the Suns just aren't together. But whoever excuse me, whoever they play between next round Warriors or Lakers, you will see him get exposed. Yeah. Um, six, I have Devin Booker. I have Devin Booker here because, unfortunately, due to his situation, I don't think we'll see him in the conference final this year. But... He is an all-NBA player. He's an all-NBA playoff performer, and he is excellent every time he's been in the playoffs. He is a full-bred number one option. He's just been blessed with KD. He is a number one option on the championship team. He has that type of game. He just needs a team built perfectly around him. He is a traditional shooting guard, so he needs teams that can do everything else around him, and we don't have a lot of those left in the NBA, so y'all don't know how to um, classify them. Jason Tatum at five, just left the finals. Um... Didn't perform well in the finals, but has performed well in the first three rounds. Last year, has perf- he's actually performed well every year he's been in the playoffs since he's been a rookie. Yeah. So he deserves to be on this list and deserves to be in the top five on this. The top five, uh, Tatum, Jimmy, Katie, LeBron, Steph. Um, Jimmy is at four. Self-explanatory. <laughs> Jimmy turns into a top five player in the playoffs. He has the past two, three years, really since the damn fucking bubble. Yeah. Um, Jimmy is Jimmy in the playoffs. This Heat team is not good. I will keep saying it. They have six undrafted players. They're not a good team. Eric Spoelstra and Jimmy Butler and the defensive Bam is winning them all of these games. I hope his ankle is okay so he's good to go. Um, so Jimmy is at four. Katie is at three. <laughs> What do you say? That's Kevin Durant. That's Kevin Durant, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's Kevin Durant. So, it ain't really much else to say, you feel me? Defensively, he's all there, all NBA. Offensively, top three scorer ever. Um, I was on Twitter saying he wasn't top five scorer ever today just to get somebody mad at me. Um, so, uh, oh, I can definitely make the argument. But I was like, I'm not about to make it on Twitter because yeah, right. <laughs> niggas ain't going to listen. But, um, uh, so, KD is a three, and LeBron and Steph are a two and one. LeBron is one B, Steph is one A. I have Steph because he's a little bit better basketball player than is now. Than, um, Bron is now like what Steph did last night, Bron couldn't do, but Bron could do that for a half, for sure. Yeah. Um, and you might see this half against the Warriors where he go crazy. You saw it against uh, the closeout, the game four, I want to say, in LA against Memphis. Like, you see him turn it on and just the way he thinks of the game, mm-hmm. it is impossible to game plan for the. The in-game adjustments he's able to make himself from what he sees, it's impossible to game plan for. And then number one on the list, <laughs> the chef. Yeah. Um, him. Like, he, finals MVP last year. There's a reason. Rain. Reigning finals MVP. Rain. There's a reason they're 19-0 and in the West. There's a reason he has an 85% win total in the playoff. I will say again, he has won 85% of his playoff series. 
Never been swept. Never been swept. Never been beaten five. Never, yeah, never. never been beaten five. He's won two games in every series he's ever played in. This dude is special. He's the best player in the world right now. He is the best player left in the playoffs. And that is in why in June, you'll see him holding the trophy again. So, a lot of artists are kind of the same. So, I'll hit on the ones that uh, we I have, have on my list that, that are next You year. had 80 at 10. Yeah. So, I have 80 at 10. No, Jamal Murray. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I, I had uh, 80 at 10. Nine. 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 Not yet. Okay. So, I have Jamal Murray uh, averaging 20 a game, playing amazing offensively mm. and schematically on defense, which was very important for this Nuggets team where adding in KCP, Bruce Brown, you're going to have better perimeter defenders, but you still scheme-wise need to make sure everyone's in the right place to support them. He's been doing that. I think he's in such a great position playing off someone like Jokic where he saw game one. Jokic's shot's not falling, but the attention that he draws, the shots he's able to create for Jamal Murray, he has an ability to affect the game in ways that other people just won't get those shots. So I'm going to say him I, I think he's really ready to take another step. It looked like he wanted to in the bubble. Mm-hmm. He had that, you know, very sad injury, but he's, he's looked 100%. He's attacking the rim downhill. Chris Paul looked like he tried to hurt him, and he laughed it off. So he's someone that's really, really locked it. For sure. Yeah. You had Jalen Brown at 9. That's my bad. Yeah. You had 88. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, I had LeBron at 7, 88. Yeah. Uh, up next, Jalen Brown, best player in the Suns. I'm sure. But, <laughs> first of all, Atlanta always wins. Shout out Jalen Brown. Play amazing round one. He's going to play amazing this round. Just uh, kind of like Devin Booker, mm. a real traditional elite shooting guard. Yes. Like, not a combo guard, not kind of a point guard. I'm a shooting guard. I'm here for buckets, defense, intensity. I'll still facilitate. But what he does um, to Celtics really need, especially with Jason Tatum, who can be kind of a let's a hands-off superstar mm-hmm. at times, where his team's so good, he's going to let them do some of the work, and that comes to bite them. Jalen Brown, the complete opposite. Yes. 100% downhill, 100% locked I in. I love it. The entire game, real killer mentality. Got to love it. Uh, I had Braun. So everyone's going to look at this. Like, what a, why the fuck is LeBron in AD solo? Mm. Physically, I just do not want to expect them to be the two top five players left in the playoffs. Like they are. I it's understand. just too much to ask, especially LeBron with the foot. He's okay. not 100%. Uh, AD hasn't played three series in a row, mm-hmm. I don't think, ever since the bubble. Yes. I think physically, it's just, I don't want, I, right now, their current physical state, I don't think they're 100% either of them. Mm-hmm. But they're st- they're 85% better than 95% of the players in the league. Yes. So that's why yes. I'm my top 10. Of course. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Damn, who else did I have that she didn't have? Um, Jokic. Jokic. So, Jokic. Oh, know. no, that I didn't have. That was it. Oh, no, no, but I, I, I will explain Jokic. I do have yeah, okay. above them. Mm-hmm. So, Jokic is in, you know, whether it's the basketball gods mm-hmm. or your religion or whatever you believe <laughs> in, has somehow found himself another easy path to the Western <laughs> Conference Finals. <laughs> He's going to beat the Timberwolves, who are the playoff team for mm-hmm. the shots to the play-in tournament. Or to ask, I, we, we should even talk about the play-in tournament, too, now that the Heat are going to go to the Eastern mm-hmm. Conference Finals. But um, he's going to be in the Western Conference Finals. And it, he's the best player easily on his team with no other superstars. And that first game versus the Suns, it was kind of disheartening because he was shooting like shit. And the Suns were down 20. Like, what he can do for an entire offense, yes. it, it's kind of the opposite of what we see a lot of superstars. Mm-hmm. And that's why it's kind of worrisome mm-hmm. where we've never seen someone win like this. Yeah. But it's worrisome because they damn well might for real. Oh, God. Like, they're a turn, a turn ankle away. Uh, you know, so make or miss league, mm-hmm. somebody gets hot where – a lot of superstars in the heliocentric system, let's say, uh, not even Steph, but like, let's say what Steph just did. That's an example of heliocentric dominance, mm-hmm. where I'm going to control the game. Jokic is the complete opposite. Yes. Where he does not need to do that, and everyone's going to eat. And mm-hmm. now this is the best team he's been surrounded with in a couple years. Mm-hmm. Uh, real role players, real six men, people on this team that have championships, mm-hmm. played those same role in championships. I think this will be his best postseason. 
in a couple of years, and I think they'll be right. I think they'll be knocking on the door. I just, you know, some everybody can't win championships in their career. Exactly. I don't know if he'll break through, but he will be knocking on the door the next mm. couple of years. One hundred percent. Um. Yeah. So that is our. Those are our lists. And I had Jimmy Butler too. That's what I was talking yes, about. Jimmy Butler. So I had Jimmy Butler too. Fairly off respect, off respect of the game. Oh God, respect. Oh <laughs> God, tell me where the niggas are shooting. Don't give a Look, fuck. Man, Jimmy Butler took the ten, for all intents and purposes the ninth slash tenth seed of this playoffs and beat the number one seed with no help. Tyler Hero broke his hand. Him and Gabe Vincent Bam out of bio figuring it out. Max Struess. Man, for three all NBA players. Uh, Giannis, first, Giannis got retired here, first battle Hall of Famer. Drew Holiday, he playing for a couple years. He may have an argument. Oh, God. Uh, Brooke Lopez played for a couple more years. He'll definitely have an argument with oh, his God. best you know, <laughs> This was a – Jimmy Butler dismantled a championship team. And we – I don't – I don't. we talked about what Giannis said for a little bit. He broke Giannis' spear. Niggas not going to tell me nothing else. That is a failure. Y'all yes. lost. Yes. And the worst part about yes. it is – Y'all didn't just lose. Y'all were beaten. Yes. By Jimmy Butler. Yes. And Jimmy Butler and Steph Curry are at the top of the one and two for my list as a bookmark in history for us to remember that sometimes niggas do it by themselves. Oh, God. Niggas will tell you, oh, no, it can't be done. Sometimes it can. Sometimes it can. And this is one of those examples. (laughs) Shout out Jimmy Butler. Shout out Jimmy. Shout out Eric Spolster. Shout out Pat Riley. Yes, sir. Um... Speaking of Eric Poster, real quick, we'll jump right into it. Uh, real quick, we're going to 